let us understand the use of t test so far you might have understood the correlated t test now for this t test let us try to understand its different names as you have understood that there were different names of the correlated t test similarly there are different names for t test next we'll understand the different assumptions to be followed in using the t test the third point is when to use t test next is how to write objectives for the t test and how to formulate hypothesis for the t test and later on how to use the t test and do the analysis with the help of spss once we have the spss output let us understand how to interpret the t values the different names of t test are independent samples t test and another name is students t test as a researcher if you want to analyze your data with the help of spss then in spss the name given is independent samples t test as a researcher you must know what assumptions must be satisfied by the data in order to analyze with the help of a t test the assumptions to be satisfied are number 1 the normal distribution the data of the dependent variable in case of experimental group and in all other studies the criterion variable it must have a normal distribution in the population the second assumptions to be satisfied is the homogeneity of variance that means the variations within a group must be equal to the variations in another group another assumption is that the data must be either on interval scale or ratio scale if you have data on the nominal or ordinal scale then t test cannot be used and the last assumptions to be satisfied is there should not be outliers that means extreme values should not be there or extreme data should not be there now the question is when to use t test the t test must be used only and only if the researcher is interested into study the difference between the means of two independent groups and if there are differences then you should interpret it accordingly if the differences are not there then the interpretation will be changed accordingly whenever the researcher is interested in analyzing the data with the help of t test or independent sample t test then the wording of the objective is very important as i have already said the statistical technique will depend upon the wording of the objective now in case of t test the objective should be worded for example like this to study the objective should be worded like this to compare the mean scores of self efficacy of male and female teachers for this objective the hypothesis should be stated and as i have already said that the null hypothesis or null form of the hypothesis is to be stated for this objective the null hypothesis should be stated as there is no significant difference in mean scores of self efficacy of male and female teachers 
for testing the hypothesis the t test is to be used and the analysis has to be done with the help of spss which i will demonstrate later from the output of spss you can put the data in the table and the table is on your screen and you have to write the title of the table in the table the informations given are gender the mean sd and t values so therefore the title should be gender wise mean sd and and t values of self efficacy from this table it is evident that the t value is 8.99 which is significant at 0.01 level with df equal to 298 it indicates that the mean scores of self efficacy of male and female teachers differ significantly in this context the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference in mean scores of self efficacy of male and female teachers is rejected further the mean scores of self efficacy of female teachers is 80.20 which is significantly higher than that of males whose mean score of self efficacy is 57.16 it may therefore be said that females were found to have significantly higher self efficacy in comparison to their counterpart of male teachers let us take another example and try to understand how the objectives are to be written and hypothesis to be stated analysis to be done and interpretation to be made for the t test so let's take another objective suppose the objective is to compare mean scores of self efficacy of teachers of primary and higher secondary schools for this objective let us state the hypothesis and i will state hypothesis in the null form and the hypothesis stated is there is no significant difference in self efficacy of teachers of primary and higher secondary schools in order to test this hypothesis the data will be analyzed with the help of the t test and for analysis we will be using the spss which i will show you little later from the output of spss the results may be tabulated in the table as shown now from this particular table you can see that the types of school is given the mean the sd and and t values now from the table it can be seen that the t value is 0.05 which is not significant thus you have understood how to interpret the t value when it is significant and when it is not significant